Hey there, everybody. Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Plays the Darkest Dungeon. Last time, Shadow Sword, the Fey Hendred, and Cecil went to the ruins and took out a lot of enemies with their uh, mostly AoE strats. You know, everyone here technically had an AoE attack. This Henry wasn't using his. That's fine. It's fine. Today, however, I thought it was about time we maybe take care of some of these uh, singular quests that are uh, haunting them out. So to start, we got Ray Ray, Purple Smart, Dismas, and Brettville. We're just going to dive right into it here. Take on the musician, if and we can, if and we can. I think Reynold, uh, I think this team is actually a good fit for it because Reynold can do stress relief, which is something we're going to need. Purple Smart could drag the enemies around, which could be helpful. Dismiss, of course, has the big juice. Mm. We could also go with uh, slapbacks, technically, or bleeds. Oh, yeah. But nah, I think we're going with shoot jutes. Mm. This is tempting to use at some point, but not today. Today it's crits and shoots. Okay. And of course, Brettville brings some real deal heals. That'll keep us from immediately dying. Not that that's uh, that big of a risk, but you know. Could happen. You don't know. By the way, let's take a look at this. This is a ridiculous, man. This, hey, oh, and hey, how about a few more uh, healing trinkets? Why not? At 20% extra? Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? 35% extra? Yeah, why not? Hey, it's good. Dismas, you're going to get the Grimoire. All right. You're going to get the uh, War Soul Key. You're going to get the tops. You're going to get the mask. You're going to get the shackles. And you're gonna get the flare. It's too much, almost. Um, Purple Smart, you're gonna get the Wadden Sword and Wadden Horse combo. I'm also gonna give you the Legendary Bracer and Focus Ring combo, as well as the Accuser's Claw. I think all those fit well. Oh yeah, I got this too. You don't need it, but I got it. Um, we don't need it today. I should say. I do want to try that with a good bleed strat eventually, though. I think it's. I think that'll be amazing on Broken Set. It'll make him even more broken and even more set. Uh, let's give you a Handy Flare as well. 30% crit chance. That's a crime little amount. And then Ray Ray. I'm going to give you some prot. Oh, look at all that health. He's a healthy boy. Uh, give you the sigils. Sure. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Do we have anything that we could give you that helps with your stress heal? I mean, I know there are some trinkets that do it. Like Einstein's head. It is at the cost of stress received. But I mean, he, it's, it would still be nice for him to have that. I feel like, do we have anything else we could give him for... Ooh, he's got a lot of stress received stuff, too. Maybe give him a book... That reduces stress received. Yeah, this is a very different build for Ray Ray, but you know, we might have stress problems this fight. This is what this guy is good at. This musician. So I'd want to counter it, at least to some degree. Could give him more prod, but I don't think that's. I'm hoping that's not going to be necessary. Hmm. Hmm. Extra stress healing done. Yeah. That's without stress received. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What else? One more. Um. Yeah. There we go. So we got minus 10, minus 30 stress received. Then we have plus 35, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Should be fine. We'll see if it's fine. All right, let's do this. Now, depending on how this fight goes, we may or may not. I, I don't think we have to bring the food, but I'm going to bring it anyway. We may or may not need to um, switch out for the next fight. I may consider it anyway. But we'll see. Let's find out what we can do with the musician first. Local townsfolk seem to be mentally affected by these indescriptable sounds. Try to solve this madness without losing your mind and without taking any life is possible. I don't think that's formatted correctly, but all right, whatever. All right, let's go find where these sounds are coming from, shall we? Hello? Are there any sounds down here? I don't hear any. 
maybe they're in that house. Let's go check inside this house. Hello, house. Ah. Hello there, sound maker. There comes the introductory act. All right. These windows have 69 health each. Uh, the musician has 92. They do not have perfect dodge, but they do have perfect resistances to basically everything. Of course, we could go ahead and start just by punching him. That's right. There comes the cosmical scream. Which is what happens. Does lower its prop, prop by a lot, though. Extra stress received for three rounds. Yikes. I mean, this is the strategy you're quote-unquote supposed to take, to be fair. Improv to the back. Three for four, that's not bad. Wind from beyond, of course, is a push. All right, well, they're going hard on our torch. Good lord, they're fast. Oh, hey, they're fast and they're strong, too. Eight damage seems like a lot. I could be wrong on that, though. All right, well, thankfully, we have good team heals. Yeah, she just healed herself by 21. It's fine. Uh, technically, Reynold could work from any position. Plus the reflect. Don't forget about that. Give me the triple. Mm, baby, a triple. All right, and then they're all going to scream. Oh, no. That does lower their prod even more, though. Which could work out for us in the long run. Because now they don't have any prod. Now we can slap them for maximum damage. Behold! The slap. Here comes a sudden interruption. Oh, no. Oh, that's a lot of stress. Good punches from Purple Smart. Here comes another sudden interruption. All right. I see. I see. Uh, give me a triple. Press this advantage. One goes down. No quarter. We, remember, we probably don't want to kill him. Otherwise, he's just going to stress a ton between now and the end. Because that's what he does at the end. He throws out all the stress moves. Which is not really that fine. We have plus 60% stress. Good dodge from Purple Smart. Okay. Go ahead and give me the ult team. Beautiful, beautiful. Sedated. Oh, yeah. More stress and relief him. See if we take down another one this turn. Let's go, Ray Ray! As the enemy crumbles. All right, all right. Single target. 52. I think that was maximum damage. Hell yeah. Boom, boom. Their formation is broken. Another round done. The offensive. All right, buddy. Comes the verse. Here's the problem, though. Kill one of these guys, and it's over. Keep playing. Oh, that's a heal, isn't it? That's right. His demons make him keep playing. Ow. What the frick? Stress is getting real high. Light's getting real low. All right, Ray Ray, we might need you to uh, go on the defensive here. Sudden interruption. That's not that bad. Wind from beyond. Nice dodge. Okay. Throw me some stress to relief him. How good is it? 11! That's not that great. Did I forget to level up his stress heal move? No, it's up. It's level 5. What the hell? Okay. Hmm. I wish he wasn't in the front. You know what? I'm tempted to just try to end it. I know it's not a good idea, but Dismas has this grape shot, man. It's actually pretty good at what it does. For example. Precision and power. Now he's going to panic play the rest of his song, and we're going to take a lot of stress. The will to fight. Oh, no, you get to scream first. That's fine. I mean, I guess that's fine. It's not really fine, but we'll just say it's fine. Okay. I mean, it's only 20% extra stress. It's really not that bad. Haha, -ha, you missed... Okay, now... Alright. Screw it! Let's do it again! 
And he'll, they'll do it again. Which, yes, I know that was actually a terrible move because that just means more stress for us now. I know what I've done. All right. Okay. Keep pl Oh, they're just going to revive him? Okay. I mean, if you keep reviving, we'll keep grape shotting. You think I'm not okay with this? Oh, I'm totally okay with this. 28 damage. Would have hoped for a little bit more, but that's all right. Uh, boom, boom. Ah, damn. That was weak. That should have been a kill. As the fiend like that. Rolls, a faint hope blossoms. Oh, 22 percent or 22 stress seal. It's not a percentage. Good god. That was amazing. Um, now give me this. No stress heal from that. Yikes. Oh, well, there it is. Okay. Got a little bit. Unknown. Yep, there it is. It's a reflection. Mortality Holy shit. Clarified in a single strike. Yeah, damn. Uh, hit it. We're in a race at this point. So... He's supposed to, like, end his verses after that, though, right? I think he's broken. I think the character is actually broken. Oh, God, he's broken. Unnerved. Unbalanced. I think he's actually broken. Because he's not supposed to do this. Beautiful double hit there. Destroy them all. Chorus. Keep playing. Yeah, yeah. Heal somebody a little bit. But he's got, like, negative health at this point. Can they actually revive him but to have, like, health again? I'm genuinely kind of curious. Get us off death's door at least. Thank you. This is not supposed to happen like this. This is weird. Yeah, what? Maybe we hit them. I don't know, man. I think we actually broke the enemy. Because I've done this fight before. This has not been how this has gone before. He's never used a move called Unknown. In a previous life. A singular strike. Okay, that was a good singular. Didn't get an extra hit off of it, which sucks. Yeah, I'm starting to think we should just leave. That was weird. Now, I will grant, it's been like two or three seasons since I've fought this guy normally. So I'm thinking he's like actually he's been, he may have just been updated since then and made worse to be honest. I like it better when he just stressed everyone out, but okay. Like without actually continuing the fight. Like your big uh the big downside was that you wouldn't get like an extra reward or something. I don't remember. It's been a while. Alright, now we should leave. Reeling, gasping. Taken over the edge into yeah, let's madness. go. Let's go. We're going home. That's a neat uh, affliction sign or affliction page. Really, not a single virtue. Frustration and fury. why even have level sixes? Destructive than a hundred cannons. All right, no big loss. Has a not even a negative quirk, which is like almost no loss except for one week. Curiosity, that was very weird. And obsession. Okay, yes, loss. My Treatment library, brothel upgrade, patient cells upgrade. That's not big. I mean, it, it costs heirlooms, but whatever. Biggest loss is going to be in the money that we have to spend to get them off of, you know, this. But it's all well and good. Done. Gilded icons. All right. 
and dogmatic rituals. Make sure we've unequipped all the trinkets, which I think I already did. Against the bloodshed. Perfectly fine. All right, let's go to round two. Which is going to be big, large, big boy. You are going into a mission, okay? We're not going back to the music musician right now, though. Big, large, Giscard, Rusty, Flabois. We're going to take on the leper. This is my second idea. I'm running with it. Give you some accuracy and some speed, maybe? I don't think you need to be able to ignore stealth. I could be wrong on that. I would give you the four crit, but we have better crit items coming up, so let's not worry about that. Giscard. You're gonna get your eyeball, I think. Give me a nice hat. A little bit of extra dodge. Uh, I'm not gonna grab the borrowed cabbage. We haven't really used it in the past, and I'm not sure we're gonna need it. I think the antiseptic will be helpful. I believe this boss is a size two, but I could be wrong. Hopefully I'm not. I mean, I fought him just last season. You'd think I would remember that, but nope. Nope, not this boy. He don't remember nothing. Uh, let's see. These are all the same. In fact, almost nothing changes on for the Bois. As far as Vestals go, we got the real deal heals to make you feel real, and that's really all we need. Rusty. You'll take the antitoxin. You'll take anything else that helps with Blight. I'm almost tempted to give you the Grimoire, but I think it's better to give that to Big Large this time around. You're definitely getting the Hamid's head. Yup, yup, yup. Uh, let's see. Actually... You are technically the best one to get the Hamid's head, but... It also gives you a good chance of accidentally hitting our own team with those. I think it's fine. I think it'll be fine. Um, give you extra crit chance with the Handy Flare. Give you a light soul key. Maybe give you... I kind of want to give you dodge. So that you don't get hit too much. Maybe the accuser's claw for a little bit more. Crit chance. Hmm. Here, take the dice. Extra crit. Why not? Uh, let's see. Discard. You are gonna... You have... You have two ranged attacks in one melee. Okay. I'm gonna give you the Wadden Sword, Wadden Horse combo. You're gonna get one of the War Soul Keys. You're gonna get... I kinda wanna give you the Berserk Charm. Lowers your accuracy by a little bit. But... I think that's mostly fine. I'm gonna... Ooh. Veggie Daggles. Yeah, that's better. Give you the Veggie Daggles. Give you the Skaven Dice. That's fine. I think. Uh, probably. Alright, and then... Hmm. I'm gonna give you a life soul key. Alright, then big large. Of course I'm tempted to give you the sigils. And then the grimoire. You still have 54 health. You have more than anyone else on the team still, after all that. And then the tops, and then the uh, shackles, and then the war soul key, and then the mask of frenzy. All right. Let's see if they can take on the evil version of the leper. Take these. I think that's good enough for the team. Let's see if we're right. Really wish we had anti-stun, because I think we need it, but I don't remember for sure. Let's do it. Well, it may look a bit different now. Remember that it was once a leper. I think it's just to tell us that it has similar moves. This throne, by the way, is that what that's supposed to be? It looks neat. Here's the rotting king and his rotting cultist. Ignore stealth, guards, and prot. Can't take damage from heroes. 100% of damage that would be dealt from heroes is converted into health. And that one's the same way. All right. So honestly, we start, I think, with uh, the Perilous Flesh. Give us some slapbacks. There you go. All right, he has minus eight speed. Uh, he is, he's actually made way weaker to bleeds than he is to blights. Uh, let's go ahead and sanitize our station. He's unholy as well as human. Human doesn't surprise me. Unholy eh, doesn't really surprise me either, to be honest with you. He does have a lot of health, though. Cultist chop. Somehow this minus eight mofo 
formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Now, if I remember correctly, you're, you're actually supposed to try to keep this guy alive. Like, you're supposed to be doing this. So that, um... You'll attack him and he won't die. But he killed him anyway. Because now he's going to be hard. He's going to actually fight now. Destroy. That's if I remember that correctly, which I may or may not. I don't freaking know anymore. Bash him. All right. We got big bashes and we will not lie. Uh, let's go ahead and smoke. Yes, you cannot avoid Rusty's stank, man. Okay. Uh, you know what? Give me the dissolving liquid, which will up the blight chance if the debuff works. There's always a chance it won't. Debuff resist is not perfect, of course. Here comes the Perishing Purge. That's a knockback. 34 damage. Good God. 17 on the slapback, though. And full heals, easy as that. I don't think he can attack the back row, though, because, of course, he's going to purge. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Yeah, this is a potential problem. Uh, that said, move forward. Okay. Uh, eat lettuce. Only well, works on yourself, but, you know, that's fine. That's a good heal on yourself. Okay, uh, you have... No, you don't have the bleed. Damn it. Actually hit it. You might get knocked back, which would be, uh, preferable. Right now. His blight is pretty powerful. Oh, fuck, he's healing. How quickly the tide turns. It actually wasn't that awful. Okay, minus healing received for the whole battle is pretty fucking awful. He still got healed by... 24, though. Alright. Purge. Okay, that's what I thought he was gonna do. 20 damage on a purge. Okay, um... Blight him. See if we can keep it going. We did get a Blight on Giscard, but it's a weak one. We're fine. Plus, we can deal with that. Um, go ahead and dissolve in liquid. There's the debuff. Alright. Good. Hughes, go ahead and bash, I think. No, get the slap back going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're usually in front unless you get purge, and that fucking blight is a. Yeah, hit me. 33 back, and he resisted. All right. And this is the only heal we need, really. This heal is more than good enough. And improvement. Come on. Yes! Oh, 74 back, and he resisted it again! Oh my gosh, Big Large is a god. The ground quakes. Holy crap, man. Compassion is a rare. Oh, I didn't heal him all the way, that's fine. Pitch of battle. Enjoy your blights. Enjoy your 50 something, 58 blight. Good night, Roddy boy. Has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination mm -hmm. be considered a virtue. Grand corrosion, fifty percent max HP. Imagine that on Hughes. Uh, was hit minus three HP. That's actually not big on him at all. 30 percent damage on melee skills on hit. Chance to lower his own HP. Obviously, that's not great. Minus twelve speed though, and the necros visage. Plus one accuracy and two crit per missing HP. Per 10% missing HP. Uh, and no stress healing done from crits. This one just doesn't seem good. Like, at all. But, uh... These two are. These two are great. I don't know what this one... I don't know what this trinket's even doing here in comparison. But, uh, yeah. Minus 25% healing received if you have both of these, but you can ignore stealth, guards, and prot. On all attacks. It's pretty good. It's pretty dang good. Alright. And we get an ancestral coat, which is a pretty darn good trinket. What do we got? Corpse curse. Ugh. I want to get rid of that. Uh, plus two speed to replace Clodder is pretty good. Ruins Adventurer replaced by Treatable. I guess that's fine. Uh, cautious replaced Ambitious. Eh, some of those aren't that good. Can you feel it? The walls and between the dark web. world and that unplumbed no. dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. I refuse. I'm not even using a VPN. What are you joking me? Tell me to do that. 
put my entire everything at risk here. Dude, she had minus 50% blight chant, blight resist. And I think Rusty only got her once. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, wow, we got kind of lucky there. I mean, it wasn't a high blight. Two for three on allies, that's nothing. That's not even damage. It's like a tickle. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of that Please the Darkest Dungeon. Bit of a shorter one, I know, but I wanted to knock out... Well, we only knocked out one of them, but I wanted to get some of those single fight battles out of the way. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know but that you enjoyed it by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Let's keep going. It'll stop coming until it does stop coming. Then it'll stop coming, probably. Thanks again for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody-os.